Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about how we can use a range of natural materials during art projects. Well, let's see what I managed to find around my garden. And these are my treasures. I have a range of leaves, all of different shapes and sizes. Mostly they are green. I have some white flowers and pink flowers, but I managed to get some blue and yellow flowers as well. And here you can see some berries too, which are quite dark red. It's actually really lovely to go and explore your garden because there are loads of things that will smell divine. For example, this is my mint plant and it really does smell a little bit like a toothpaste. toothpaste. I have some roses that smell lovely. And I also managed to find these different berries. Well, actually I think they are the same type, but these have gone dark blue and these are kind of reddish. Now, what I'm really excited about it, are these fern, look, that so reminds me of dinosaurs. What it, you know, used to look like in rainforest and Jurassic Park and stuff. But I also found some bark. This is a tree bark. And you know that because sometimes when we at school, we go do tree, we go do tree rubbings on the trees in a park. I have a pine cone. I have a couple of pine cones like this. And we love that pattern at the bottom, don't we? But I also have lots of other leaves. Um, some are shaped like that. That's an ivy leaf. And this is a wild strawberry. And I have some privet as well. And I also managed to get some branches or little twigs of the conifer tree, which feel quite rough. For your project number one, you will need a white cloth, maybe an old sheet or a pillowcase. It needs to be cotton or maybe a linen will do as well. And you will need this really heavy um, hammock called mallet, which is rubbery on top. But if you don't have that, uh, you can also use a smaller hammer or maybe a rolling pin that you will roll over the fabric. So first of all, you will lay your fabric on the ground, nice and flat, and then you use your leaves and flowers or the berries, everything you found nicely on it. You can arrange it in a different arrangement. I wanted to see what shapes and what colors I will get out of all my things here. you arrange all your leaves and flowers and berries you fold the fabric over your arrangement and you get the mallet and you hammer it and you need to be quite strong and you can, can you see the colors popping through so I've got some green leaves and I can see some pink and purple and even some yellow on top coming from my flowers now this was a hard work I had to swap my hands a few times and I think there might be some blue coming through as well. The berries were quite dark and you can see the flowers are nice and pink. Yeah, there are some yellow flowers on top. And there you go, all done. Can you see the different types of leaves and colors appearing? Okay, and this is what I have. I've got different types of leaves. There and there. And colors, I've got some red, that was the red leaf, and some purple, a little bit of yellow, some purple from the berries as well. I think the fern leaf is my favorite. So this is a definitely fun project to do. If you can visit a park or you have lots of different types of flowers um, and plants in your garden. But remember, before you pick anything, you must always check with your growing ups. And of course, when we're using the natural materials, I could not leave the loose parts play out because uh, it's so beneficial for the children. They absolutely love it. And um, 
there is so many possibilities and it's such a lovely open-ended activity. What can you see in my picture? Well, there is a girl who is walking up the mountain or maybe just on a path and she has a couple of balloons. I really like her skirt, which I thought was a ballet tutu. She has two ponytails and she's wearing a pretty crown. But, ooh, ooh, who is that in the corner lurking around? That's right, it's a T-Rex. It's a dinosaur and she doesn't know he is there. I wonder what she'll do. I don't have many colours in my house, but I try to do my best to create a lovely picture using my natural materials, printing them nicely on my paper. So I painted all the different leaves and then I tried to print patterns with them. It wasn't actually as easy as I thought it will be. And at the end, I ended up just dipping the entire objects in the paint and transferring the patterns onto the paper. This is what I ended up with. And as I said, it was probably much easier when you dip the entire leaf in a paint and then transfer it, than applying the paint with a brush. But I quite like the patterns I managed to get from some of the leaves and I try to kind of go around and create um, some kind of pattern in my work. What does it remind you of? It reminds me of a parrot or maybe a carnival, some lovely, oh firework! Oh yes, it's definitely a firework this. So there you go, three different techniques, all three are very easy and while you're doing it, please remember to explore the textures, the colours, the different smells. I just thought that actually a rosemary would have been really good herb to do um, with the mallet at the beginning of this video. Well, I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do create something, please share it with us. Bye!